Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, so I picked up this pretty cool Exoterra. Um, I think it's a leopard gecko starter kit is what it was sold as initially. But I bought it second hand on Facebook Marketplace. Which is great really to find out these second hand um, equipment for reptiles. Um, because they can be quite expensive when you're buying them new. Especially Exoterra. So it's come with all of this bits and bobs that I obviously won't be using. I don't use the background. Um, I don't know what this light is. I think it's a day and night light. So I'm not going to be using it. There's also a heat rock. Which I won't be using. And a heat mat. Again I'm not going to be using. So I'm just going to be using the vivarium itself and because it's second hand it needs washing and I thought well why not make a video of how I would prepare this tank for a animal so the first thing I'm going to do is going to try and get this sticky stock off sticky stock sticky stuff <laughs> off um i've heard vegetable oil is good i don't have vegetable oil but i have some rapeseed oil so let's see does that work where it is do, 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 do. so i think you leave it you put it on and leave it on for a couple of seconds. Ah! I just spilled it everywhere. Okay, so it's been a few minutes. I'm gonna use this, see if any of it has come off or is willing to come off. Mm. Yeah, it's coming off. that's it clear as day um, a lot of these marks that you're probably seeing are on the inside that need to be washed off um but yeah rapeseed oil works well so let's get on to cleaning the rest of it so I just took off this sticky um what is it thermometer and it's left all this black stuff so that needs to come off as well i'm going to use the same method as before no need to show you that okay and what i'm going to be using to wash the tank out is some warm soapy water some f10 mixed up in this sprayer a cloth and a dishwashing sponge some kitchen paper and some water and a toothbrush to get into all the little nicks and crannies i'm going to start off with the warm soapy water um i've just used dish soap in here a mild one um it doesn't really matter because it's going to be getting washed off anyway with the f10 so i'm going to start off with this
once I have it on its back, I'm going to give it a quick spray with plain water. Wipe that off with some paper towel. Then give it a quick spray of F10. And I don't bother washing it up because we're not going to be putting any animal in here for a long while. So I just wipe it down. And then you do that. Well, I do that. You can do what you want. <laughs> um, I do that for the entire tank. So um, plain water, dry it off with paper towel and then F10, but with the F10 on the inside, I'm gonna leave it for a few minutes, maybe even a half an hour before I go to wipe it off because I really want the F10 disinfectant to sink in um, everywhere. So just goes to show you what you can get for 50 bucks on Facebook Marketplace. We're going to be putting a hognose snake in here in the near future. Obviously, we have to um, set it up. And also, we actually have to get the hognose snake. Now, I'm just waiting for it to hatch. But also, when we get it, it's going to have to go into a quarantine. For a couple of months so it really won't be going into this enclosure for a long time but at least we can set it up and it's going to be a bioactive enclosure so it'll give the plants time to settle in and acclimatize so yeah i hope you like this video i hope it might be helpful to you in some way um if you did please give it a thumbs up and like and comment and subscribe and all that jazz and yeah I'll see you again next time. Bye.